Hello friends, in this video, we are going to see how to configure NPM client settings in Windows and Linux operating systems and also we will see how to update the location of node modules and cache of NPM client in both the operating systems. Let us start. So let us start with Windows operating system. In this operating system, I have already installed NPM. Let us verify the version. So this is the version of npm. Now to see the configurations in this machine, we have to execute npm config command. To list all the options of this configuration, let us type ls-l. It has printed all the configuration settings in this machine. Here we can see the location of cache and lot of other settings as well. So here if you want to get a particular variable value, we can get it using npm config command as well. So npm config get a particular value for example prefix. So now we can see the prefix value using npm config get command. Similarly for the registry location, so this is the registry we are using as of now. So for example, if you want to change any particular configuration value, we can using npm config set command. So let us change the value of registry using npm config set command. For example, I am giving some test value. So we can get that registry value again. So now the value is changed. This way we can get or set a particular configuration value inside npm client configuration. So now let me revert the configuration value of registry. So now the value is reverted. So now let us see how to change the node modules location and the cache location with an example project. This is an example project. Let us initialize npm here using npm init command. This will ask some values of some variables. So we have to enter these variables. For example, for package name, let us keep the default one. Version also default. For description, let me enter for demo. So we can use the default options for other variables as well. Here we need to enter s. So now my npm is configured in this folder. Let us verify the files here. So when we initialize an npm project, a package.json file is created. So this json contains all the values we have entered just now. For example, for this project, if we need a particular module in npm, then we can install using npm install command. So if I want to install an express module, so I will install using npm install. The module name is express. So let us enter. So now it is downloading the required module and it is installing. So it has installed all the required packages, means the express module as well as all the dependencies of the express module as well. So when we install a particular module, so by default it will be saved to the package.json as a dependency. So we can verify that. So here we can see the dependency is added to the package.json file. And also all the installed packages will be saved in the node modules folder in the same location. We can verify that as well. Here we can see a node modules directory is created. Let us go inside that. These are all the packages which are installed in addition to the express module. And if you want to install the same package globally, means at user level instead of the project level, we can use the hyphen G option. Here I need to provide G option. So that means it will install the package at the global level or user level. So now to see the location of the node modules where the packages are installed at user level, we can use the npm config command. Here the variable is prefix. So we have to get the prefix. So this is the location of packages at user level. So for this example, I have created a folder called npm global. So let me copy this location and I will set the prefix value to this new location. So here I am giving the new value. So now the prefix is changed. So let us install express module again at user level.
so it has installed the express module again so let us verify the express package in the new global folder here we can see node modules is created here and express is installed in this folder similarly we can change the value of cache so we can get the default value of cache using npm config again here the variable is cache so this is the default value of cache for npm client this also we can change using npm config set command so for that let me create another folder so for this cache i have created a new folder called npm cache so let me copy this path and let us set using npm config set command so here we are specifying cache equal to the new value so now if we perform any npm operations then corresponding cache will be stored in the new folder so let us install express again So now the new location contains the cache of npm commands. So this way we can change the value of the location of node modules at user level and also the cache location of npm client configurations. Now we have seen how to configure the npm settings in Windows environment. We can perform similar configurations in Linux environment as well. So this is a Linux environment and here I have created an example directory npm example. So in this we don't have any files as of now. So let us initialize npm. The npm is initialized. We can verify that package.json is created here. Here most of the npm configurations are same as Windows environment, but few default configurations will be different. So let us see that. These are all the default configurations. Here also we can get the default configurations, for example, registry or prefix. So let us do that. So here also we can change these configurations. For example, let us change the location of the npm modules at user level. So for that we need to change this prefix. For this, let us create a directory. And let us use this directory for the prefix. So now let us try to get this. So now we have changed the location of node modules. Here we can test the same by installing some express module. The express package and the dependent packages are installed now. Now let us verify the node modules in npm global directory. So in this we can see node modules is created and express. So this directory contains all the required packages as well as the dependent packages for express. Till now we have used npm config command for changing the configurations. So we can also put this configuration manually by using .npmrc file. Let us find the location of .npmrc. So for this we can grab npmrc. So here we can see there is a user config. So all the user settings will be stored here and we also have global config for multiple users as well. So for example, let us see the content of this file. So the prefix whatever we have put for the user level has been placed in this file. So here if we want to change any other settings at user level, we can directly put those configurations in this file as well. So this is another way of changing the configurations. So in this video, we have seen how to configure npm client settings both in Windows and Linux environments and also we have seen how to update the default configurations like cache and the location of user level node modules. I hope this content helps. Thanks a lot for watching.